Hi everyone, it's Mimsy from MimsyandCompany.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pillow cover for a an IKEA 20 by 20 pillow form, which is the best deal out there for a feather pillow. $5.99 you can get these for. So the first thing that you want to do obviously is select your fabric and then cut your fabric to the proper size. So this pillow form is a 20 by 20. Um, it says it right on the tag and I like to cut my fabric one inch smaller than my finished size because I like my pillow cover to be very plump and I don't want any slack in my pillow cover. So let me show you real quick how I go about cutting my fabric. Okay, so to cut the fabric, because I make so many pillows, I actually use a, a pillow cutting template that I bought from Rowley or RowleyCompany.com. And this is it, it is a transparent pillow template. And there's a lot of benefits to using this. Now, obviously you don't have to do this to cut your pillow. You can just go ahead with your tape measure and mark off your fabric at 20 by 20 and then cut around. And that's totally fine. Um, that works, but I make a lot of pillows. So I use this template because it expedites the process tremendously so This pillow template. There's a lot of benefits to it. It has every size from 11 inch all the way up to 30 inch and It the shape of the template part when you mark your pillow off it has uh, tapered corners so the corners it's not just completely square it actually tapers down on the corners which eliminates dog ears on your pillows which if you're familiar with that the pillows have real pointy um, corners which is not desirable on a professional pillow so the second thing about this template that's really excellent is that the transparency allows you to move the template around on your fabric in order to be able to either match patterns on multiple pillows or if you have a fabric that has a lot of pattern and there's one specific pattern that you want right in the center of the pillow, you just move the template around to wherever that pattern is right in the center of this clear template, line it up, mark your pillow off and cut it out. It's really handy that way. Um, <clears throat> this pillow template already accounts for your seam allowance. So if you want a 19 by 19 inch pillow, you just go to the 19 mark and you mark off the pillow. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna line it up so I have as little waste as possible. So I bring my 19 almost to the edge here and almost to the edge there. I grab my chalk, which I just use, you can use anything for marking your, marking your pattern because obviously it's gonna be cut off most likely. So I just use regular chalk. You can use dressmaker's chalk, you can use a pencil. I do that sometimes. Um, so you just mark off um, through the, there's little cutouts here, and you just mark right through the cutout, follow the 19 inch line all the way around, mark it off. Then you take your ruler and join your lines. Okay, so there you have it. My lines are drawn and my pillow is ready to cut out. So we'll go ahead and cut the pillow out.
there you have it. I have my pillow all cut out. And now I can go ahead and cut out the back side of my fabric. Now I'm using a contrasting fabric, so I'm gonna cut that out separately. You could go ahead and fold your fabric over and cut two layers at one time. Um, but in this case, just for demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna do one at a time. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the, the uh, back fabric and then we're ready to go ahead and start sewing. So I'll meet you at the sewing machine. Okay, so here we are, we're at the sewing machine. I've got my two halves of my pillow cut, my front and my back. Um, and we're ready to go ahead and put in the zipper. Now, this is the invisible zipper and I actually buy it by the yard because I make so many pillows that I buy the zipper pull or the zipper and the poles by the yard and I assemble them and I can cut them to any length that I want. But you can absolutely just buy them from the fabric store already created for you um, for simplicity. Uh, so I've got this one already made and you generally want your zipper to be about maybe an inch and a half to two inches from the edge. So <clears throat> we're ready to go ahead and assemble. So you want to open up your zipper and we're gonna go ahead and pin it in because um, the, first, the first attachment or when you first attach the zipper to the pillow, you want it to be pretty stable. So you always want your right side to right side on your pillows. This is right side to right side. And we are going to lay down the zipper, first lay down the zipper and we're gonna notch out where the zipper is gonna start and stop on both pieces of fabric. So you've got your fabric lined up. Okay, so now I'm gonna lay my zipper down, center it on the pillow, and I'm going to notch out the end just by about a quarter of an inch, put a quarter of an inch notch in the pillow, just so you can see when you come to put your zipper in the top where you start and stop on that. So there's my notch, so I'm gonna open it up again. <clears throat> Lay it down with the zipper pull face down because this is the right side and obviously when this is sewn in, you are going to want the zipper pull to be on the outside of the pillow, obviously. So where's my notch? There's my notch, so I'm gonna start that right there. Zipper pull down and I'm going to pin this to my pillow. Okay, then we can go ahead and sew this on. Now you're gonna need a zipper foot, which is this foot right here. And I will just line it up as close to the teeth as I can without sewing into the teeth. I'm gonna drop that in. You'll want to close your zipper at this point so you can get around the pull easier. And then sew as close as you can to the teeth. And obviously backstitch. Okay, so that's that. Now we need to pin to the other side. So we've got our notch. So I know I need to line up the other side right at that notch and pin all the way down.
and then we sew that in. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and sew around that as close as I can. It's not going to be um, super tight right there. But what I'll do is I'll go back on that section, close the zipper so I can get around there nice and tight. So there you have your invisible zipper and you'll see, you see how nice that hides. So now the next step is to put your, your pillows again right side to right side and pin around to hold your pillows together. Just enough so that they don't shift while you're sewing. Okay, then you want to start sewing right on the inside of your zipper. So you're going to just overlap a little bit so that that start is going to be hidden. The start of your zipper will be hidden. So I'll show you once we get it sewn. So drop your presser foot down, change the needle so it's on the outside. <clears throat> And then just follow around your whole pillow at a, at a 5 8 inch or half inch seam allowance. Okay, then when you get back to the beginning again to where your zipper is, 
you're going to want to sew in about a half an inch on the inside of the zipper. So fold that over and just make sure that you're not going to hit the zipper teeth. Go as close as you can without hitting and backstitch. Okay, so there you have it. Your pillow is done. Now at this point, you could go ahead and either zigzag your um, seam, or if you have a serger, you can go ahead and serge it, make it super professional and serge the whole outside of your pillow. So you wanna leave it open a little bit so that when you're finished, you can get that zipper open easily. And I'll show you how it looks. And one thing that you want to do is just clip your corners a bit so that your pillow will turn around and your, your corners will be nice and crisp and square. So there you have it, very invisible. Okay, you can okay, so now my pillow is all made and I'm gonna go ahead and stuff my pillow insert in there. So you wanna go ahead and fold your pillow in half, kind of deflate it a little bit, fold it in half like a taco in order to stuff it into the pillow because you wanna be able to stuff it in there without ripping the, the, the uh, seams at the edges of your zipper. So just go ahead and get it all stuffed in and then open it up once it's in there. Make sure you push your corners, grab your corners of your pillow form or your insert and stuff those right into the corner of the pillow. in your tags which you can just cut those off and zip that baby up fluff it there you have it a nice invisible zipper see that little pole that's all you see pretty invisible and there's your pillow all done nice and plump looking good Thanks, y'all. It's Mimsy from MimsyandCompany.com. If you have any questions, message me. Thanks. Bye-bye.